Now the UK Prime Minister David Cameron reaches Jallianwala Bagh. This is after paying visit to the Golden Temple. The British PM uh, is visiting the historic Jallianwala Bagh, which is located close to the temple. Hundreds of people remember were massacred at the Jallianwala Bagh in 1919 on the orders of General Dyer during the British Raj. And David Cameron is expected to uh, be the first serving Prime Minister of the UK to voice regret about one of the British Empire's bloodiest episodes in India. On the phone with us now is uh, Shamshed who will take us through uh, the developments as the British PM visits Jallianwala Bagh. Shamshed, um, this, uh, this gesture from David Cameron, uh, really this expression of regret for what happened in 1919 being seen as a big uh, measure, a big confidence building measure to try and improve the ties between the two countries. Well, uh, British Cameron has just arrived uh, at the Jallianwala Bagh and in, fa in fact he has laid the wreath uh, at the uh, at the victims' memorial, remember, uh, close to a thousand people were massacred in 1999 on the Bais Baisakhi by a British general uh, here at this place. Uh, uh, British Cameron is, in fact, the first uh, uh, prime minister to have come to the Jallianwala Bagh before him. Queen Elizabeth II had visited uh, uh, the memorial uh, back in 1997. At that time, there were angry protests by some families, those who demanded an outright apology uh, from the British monarch, but that didn't come. It wasn't a clear apology, but uh, the visit itself was a symbol. Uh, and now, once again, uh, David Cameron had, uh, in fact, a press person to in, uh, to, uh, for uh, this visit to be included to Jallianwala Bagh. In fact, this was not originally uh, part of his uh, itinerary Indian tour. Uh, he he pressed uh, uh, for this visit to be included to Amritsar, and uh, uh, he, he will be finishing his tour, and uh, he has visited the Jallianwala Bagh. We don't know whether he has, uh, uh, you know, uh, expressed any regret in words uh, because he, at the moment, he's signing the visitor's book. We, we would get to know what he has written there. But yes, he has visited uh, the Bagh. He, uh, he picked up the wreath and laid before uh, the uh, the victim's memorial. And that time, he closed his eyes, eyes uh, stood there uh, silently uh, right. uh, with his head uh, bowed down uh, for about uh, 10, 15 seconds. Uh, so uh, it, it was a, a very serene moment at that time. Uh, we will see the visitor's book and we'll get to know what he has written in that.